Yes, here we go. Fabulous. So hi, everyone. We are live in the Kegay's Fit Kitchen. So uh, I'm an integrative health coach and the creator of the bioenergetic cooking method. And I have been doing free live Wednesday webinars on certain topics. So what I came up with tonight is five ways for you to keep uh, your health goals successful going on because a lot of people get started and we just, uh, we falter. And uh, so we're going to go that. And it's not just about hitting the gym. And that is a classic term. I got to hit the gym. I got to hit the gym. It's not going to get you anywhere. <clears throat> and most people don't end up hitting the gym. So it is also, everything starts right here in the kitchen. So one second, because I need a little water. <clears throat> oh. Make sure you stay hydrated, everyone. So uh, everything starts in the kitchen and we're gonna talk about, it is more, it's cardio, it's strength and it's nutrition. And I talk about all of those things in my upcoming pre-program, which starts, the first winter session starts on Sunday. It's fantastic. So here's the bad news. The bad news is that the obesity rates in the United States are over 40% now. Now, that was February 27th of 2020. Look where we might be now, especially with the COVID cocooning where people were stress eating. And that's understandable. And I talk about that as well, too, because the mind looks to food to feel better. So it looks to food to feel better. And of course, our food companies know that. They have been lacing our food since the 70s with tricked out uh, all these different chemicals to trick our neurotransmitters into thinking that crappy food that has no nutritional value actually tastes good. That's why people ask me, does healthy food taste good? Um, it's the only way to go, real whole food. So I make real whole food simple and show you how to get energy from that. So let's start with the five top reasons. I'm going to take a break um, at number four. I'm going to share with you a great opportunity to get in last minute to my creep program. And then we're going to make one of my absolute favorite ways to rebuild muscle after a workout. Okay. So the number one tip is consistency. So you've got to, you've got to do a schedule and you've got to make it easy and you gotta make it doable. It's not about, I'm gonna to go to the gym five times and then you don't do it because it's too hard. Uh, only certain people can go there every single day. Make a goal to go for three days for a half hour and pick a couple things that you're going to do, make it manageable. Uh, during the Cree program, I talk about setting two days where you actually can get very effective workouts for 10 minutes, for three minutes where you're mixing maybe 10 minutes on a Peloton bike, which I can show you how to do a very effective hit ride. And then you're, you're working with um, the stealth plank for three minutes, which works your whole body. You're doing some effective uh, workouts on certain body parts because we need strength conditioning as well too. So everybody has 10 minutes, everybody has three minutes. You need to just be consistent, just like in business, just like I'm being consistent with this Wednesday webinar. Okay, so consistency, number one, consistency. So number two is accountability. And that's right. So accountability, why do health, why is health coaching so important? It helps provide accountability unless you don't want accountability. So uh, that's why people go to the gym. They meet a gym buddy. They're more apt to go to the gym if they've got somebody there or they have a personal trainer waiting for them. That's all accountability. Also, there's built-in programs. The Stealth has a built-in program where you can set up uh, challenges with other people. Peloton does. Even the C-A-R-O-L, the, the Carol bike from the UK. I talk about that also in my program. They uh, have a way for you to online uh, stay up and encourage you and uh, same way that a coach does. So accountability is vital for your success. I have accountability coach in business and that really helps too. Number three is plateau, 
right? You get to a point where either you're not losing the weight or you, um, you need extra coaching. I've had people that stop their coaching after a little while because um, they just either they, they don't want the results, it's too hard, they don't really want to make the changes, or um, you know, there's a whole host of reasons. It's difficult to make changes and uh, 60 days or more, actually 90 something days, uh, three months is the time where you're going to get over that hump and the body is going to start to help you. That's why I go right to um, initializing your body to start helping you make the change because the body's going to help to start drive uh, those, um, those cravings, how you're feeling, your energy levels, everything. So weight loss can also plateau. People get discouraged right? Results with weight training will plateau. So we have to change it up. I change it up with my clients. We do carb cycling. We'll do a couple days of juicing. We will um, switch the fasting hours a little bit. We'll switch when we're doing our fats in the evening from, you know, in the morning, you've got to switch up the body. It tries to remain a homeostasis, even if it's overweight, tries to hold on. Um, releasing toxins is going to help you even more. So that's what I work with there. You've got to vary your workout also. It helps your muscles. Your body gets used to the same old thing. So if you go to the gym and you get onto the you 20 minutes, you go do a few weights, you're not going to see much uh, results. Uh, also, um, rest, uh, oh, long and slow. That's what I'm going to talk about. Uh, there's where you do very, very heavy workouts, very, very slow and long, or you do stretching workouts that help to stretch out your muscle with bands, you gotta stretch, you gotta work it out. You've gotta switch it up. So number four is rest and recovery. You do not go to the gym to build muscle. Uh-uh, you break it down. And you cannot build muscle, guys, unless you're breaking it down. You gotta break down the fibers and you do need testosterone, you do need um, HGH, you need that to build muscle. Uh, also, you know, another way to flip up your workout is go to something like F45 Fitness because they're doing some functional moves and you got people right on your ass, right behind you, pushing you to go forward, but it's super fun and anyone can do a quick workout like that, okay? But you gotta feed your muscles and that's what my recipe today is about. Uh, it's one of my favorites it's called chocolate monkey business. I, uh, I love monkeys, but I affectionately called it monkey business because of the bananas and the peanut butter and the chocolate, raw chocolate. So this fires up everything, all the easy to digest amino acids, which are protein to fuel your tissue breakdown, build you back up because you don't just go eat a burger or anything after you work out and expect your muscles to build. You're not going to get it, right? You're just going to be putting on more toxic weight because the food you're eating is low quality, filled with toxins. And not only do the toxins, you, you know, uh, destroy liver, but they cross the brain barrier and start to break down your brain. You don't get Alzheimer's um, just in, in the moment, it's 20 years of that crap, you know, crossing the brain barrier and breaking down the muscle uh, and, and all the tissue there and it needs nutrients, okay? Um, so we need to repair that. So before I go on to make this recipe, I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna tell you about the Creed program, which you can still get into. Um, through tonight at the early bird special. Okay, so let me share my screen. Here we go. And I don't know any quicker way to do this. <laughs> so this is from last week, but I just wanna show you uh, just the program here. So it's a reset after the holidays, we're all Listen, we're, we all, even I had more sugar. I mean, there's just nice, beautiful, high-end chocolates around and stuff like that. So January is the perfect time though to reset your energy. And there was so much stress in the middle of December. We had an eclipse and, and people are shopping and you know, Hanukkah's in the, in the middle, then we followed by, by uh, Christmas and then we had New Year's and just, and we had a full moon at the end of the year. I mean, just the energy was percolating, right? And people are doing the year on finances, there's a lot going on, but you're gonna gain 
healthy tools to achieve your goals. And that's what you need. And you, you're going to get some success in five days. It gives you confidence and you're going to gently detox from the holidays, right? So this is just really cute. Looks like you put on a little weight after the holidays. It's mostly water. <laughs> so if you're feeling a little off, and you want to clean up a little, you need to reset. I'm going to show you how to easily do that. So I invite you to check out the Creed program. It's an epic five-day program. It has worked for everybody that has joined. And I've had such amazing feedback. People have lost us with six pounds. They feel great. They feel more confident making a few things in the kitchen because you don't need to be a chef to take care of your body. If you just know a few simple recipes, especially the smoothie that I do during this, you will have what you need to reset your body. You want more vibrant energy. You want to glow. You want your skin to look good. You want to wait, you want to jump start your weight loss. Even if you lose three pounds, and tr trust me, you feel good. You pick up a three pound weight. That's what you're carrying. So you're going to build a new reverence for food. You're going to get some amazing uh, recipes and your mindset's going to shift on what you think about losing weight is not starving yourself starts january 10th this sunday so don't miss out it's just five nights easy easy on zoom if you miss it you get the uh, recording and i'm going to help you recreate your health creed we're going to show you what creed stands for it's about never giving up i'm 56 guys it's you don't go downhill just because you turn 40 you go downhill because you eat poorly and it catches up with you and health is in your hands so we're going to be building confidence we're going to talk about real health and real food real energy real cellular energy you're going to get some empowerment over your health and what better time than now because of what's going on with all of the virus scare right to have empowerment over your health we will be talking about important supplements too that bring you vitality and boost your immune system and delicious, right? Deciding that you're going to self-nourish and that you're worth it. You're the Louis Vuitton body, right? You're worth it. So the early bird sign up, you can go through tonight through, and you're going to be saving. It's less, it's just over 30 bucks a day. It is the least expensive, most high value of thing that I offer to work with me and get all my energy for five nights. So here at 169. All right, so let's stop the share on that note with these beautiful sardines. I hope you caught my last. <laughs> I hope you caught my last seminar. Anywho, bananas are not bad guys. Bananas, the body knows what to do with bananas. They're amazing. Eat them on a little bit of a greener side. They provide inulin fiber to feed that good bacteria in your gut. 100 calories filled with fiber, potassium. Your body needs them. Get over the fact that you think that fruit is no good for you. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about keto too in this thing where, you know, I do have a bit of a problem with uh, going to keto and I'll express to you why on the first night of the program, you can learn why. Okay. Um, so we're putting a banana in here, right? And uh, so what you're looking for is this right? Everybody wants the muscle, especially the guys and even the gals. You want to rebuild. You want nice looking arms. You got to work those things out. And I'm going to show you ladies how to do some easy workouts too. But on the top of this plant-based protein scale, now a lot of my clients need to go plant-based or at least incorporate it, yet they have no idea what that means. So pumpkin seed protein powder way up here and the most alkaline for your body. You need the body to be alkaline so you are not having disease. Acidity forms disease. That's from sugar, processed food, alcohol, stress, and you name it, the American lifestyle. Next up is peanut butter, okay? High quality organic peanut butter. And, um, and then hemp seeds, yep. We are going to be putting in, um, I've loved this brand since I started using hemp seeds and 10 grams of protein per serving. And uh, that is excellent. So this one smoothie here, it's gonna have in excess of 30 grams of protein and that's what you want. So great list, right? Um, or the other plant, I'll show you my proteins in a second. So what we're also gonna hide in there are microgreens. Microgreens, super easy to digest nutrients loaded with micronutrients are your vitamins and your minerals. 
okay, and antioxidants. And look at these gorgeous little things. So I usually, I eat those too with my plant-based burgers or whatever or other, but these are packed with nutrients and you can hide them right into the smoothie. So you're getting a little greens in this otherwise tasty number that we have going on here. We're gonna sweeten it naturally with my favorite sweetener. These are actually okay and good for people that are getting rid of yeast and candida. That's it, medjool dates. The body recognizes all of the minerals in here as well. And they're sweet, and they're yummy, and they're tasty, and I make nutri um, really great uh, snacks with them. We're putting in three, okay? Next up, uh, all right, let's get the hemp parts in there. I'll put the fluid in after. So I put in two scoops. I, it's probably um, at least two tablespoons. And all right, why the chocolate? The brain. This makes serotonin and dopamine, okay? The body needs those neurotransmitters. We're looking for dopamine everywhere we go, right? You're looking for it with caffeine. You're looking for it with energy drinks. Uh, so those pre-workout drinks, all they do is they stimulate your adrenals to help with blood flow. And then once you do it too much, you need more and more and more. It's not gonna work. I take no caffeine at all, okay? So this raw chocolate in its raw form also is loaded with minerals such as magnesium, which you also need uh, in many different forms. I take three different forms. Citrate is my favorite. I'll take the comp packages. I put in an entire scoop, all right? That raw dark chocolate, you're gonna get used to it. I have cacao nibs. And uh, I, I would normally put those in. I'm not going to right now. So chia seeds, chia means energy, okay? That's what the word chia means. These have omega-3s, plant-based omega-3s. They also have fiber. They also have protein. So we're getting a lot in here already. Two choices of our added in protein powder. So, and you can get these on my website and save on both. This is made locally. She, she took it out of the canister, put it into a bag, so no more plastic. They produce this weekly. It's massively high quality. This is what I make my pumpkin seed protein powder pancakes with that are undeniably amazing. So uh, I'm gonna put in a scoop of this and I'm gonna put it in a scoop of this, uh, the Trubani brand chocolate. So these are the only, I only have chocolate and vanilla True Bonnie and this pumpkin seed protein powder. That's the only ones I use. I buy nothing at Whole Foods and um, I get this online. You can find it on my websites under products we love, purchase products we love or purchase favorite products. I forgot. It's on my website and you're going to save free shipping and you get 10% off. <clears throat> because I love it so much. Now, if you want to increase your energy and stamina, mm -hmm, a little bit of maca you can throw in. This is fun, it's a little project. That's why you have everything in nice containers. And uh, I am gonna put in some peanut butter. I haven't had some in a while. Um, I'm gonna need a spoon here. Yeah. Uh, so let's get some in, make sure it's clean. Look how yummy this is. <laughs> Um, now, what I'm putting in for liquid, first of all, I mix a uh, half filtered water and half of this very clean almond milk, Malk, M-A-L-K. It's the only one that I purchase. You can get it at Whole Foods. The other conventional ones have gums and fillers and things that are not real. You just want real ingredients. These are real sprouted um, organic almonds, you've got filtered water and you've got Himalayan sea salt. And then you have, this is a um, natural vanilla as well. So we're gonna get some of this in here. I had this frozen because I was doing a liver reset. So I don't know if I can get it out. Anywho, okay, so still frozen. Um, so let's put this together. It's absolutely yummy. Now, I'm gonna put this on pause just so you don't hear the loud goings on. Okay, it is done and I've got it in my favorite, this is my favorite glass to have this smoothie in. So, 
you saw it went in this. It is going to nourish your body. And it's something awesome to look forward to after your workout. So if you make it and you put it into a to-go cup, you have it there waiting for you, either at the gym or in a little cool pack or however you do it. Super smart. Mm. Absolutely yummy. So if you like chocolate and peanut butter, there's a huge majority of people that do. You will love this and it will really power up your muscle. So let's get to the last one here, five. So number five ways on how you're going to keep your goals for the new year is balance. Balance, and that's with the three M's. That is mindset, movement, and meals. So your mindset, take a break from the toxic news and social media and listen to things that fill you with entrepreneurial um, enthusiasm, positivity, optimism for the future. It's your job to create joy every day. It's your job to increase that energy that you have so you attract more. So work on your mindset, movement, it's not about hitting the gym. It's about moving every day and enjoying it. I move on the beach. I love it. I go for a walk around the city. It's gorgeous. We walk over the bridge. I love the beach in the morning. It's grounding. It's calming. It's been a little too cold lately, but that's where I like to be outside. I like to be biking. I love the air on me. Uh, you know, we have a gym right downstairs. So, uh, I like to watch a certain, a certain show while I'm working out. Make it enjoyable. Get a partner to do it with you, okay? Get some sunshine, movement, and make it simple, right? Just a few times a week, but you got to get it in there. Have a partner to do it with you and your meals. It is about food. It is about your kitchen. It's about le learning simple things. If you cut out one thing for one month, every single sugar drink, cut it out. You will save a ton of money, cut out everything from Starbucks, loaded with sugar and processed fats. Cut it out, just water, okay? And uh, it's your meals, real simple whole food and you can't go wrong. Have some apples to snack on in the afternoon. Bring a knife to work. If you don't like to chew into them, cut them up. Apples are one of the most healthy things for you. Okay, so that's it. Five simple things. Let's just recap what those are so that you can go from there. So number one is consistency. Get consistent. Number two was accountability. Get an accountability partner. Hire a coach, right? Um, plateau. Work on changing things up to switch out the routine. Rest and recovery. Mostly important. What you refuel with how you're getting enough sleep. And this is winter season. I'm gonna talk about that in the program. How you have to rebuild your energy during the winter is so important. Also, you will have a health crisis at the end of March. Look what happened last March. That's when the shutdowns happened and the, the rates of COVID were escalating. And number five is balance. That's it guys, right here from KK's Big Kitchen. I'm gonna be enjoying my chocolate monkey business. Mm -hmm. So go to my website, In the Kitchen with KK. If you'd like to learn more about the free program, it's gonna be coming up again in February, the third week in February, the third Sunday, the one after Valentine's Day. So you can jump in again and uh, you can learn more about it. Or if you're interested in working with me in any other way or have any comments, have an awesome night, guys. Bye.